hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back again with another video today it's going to be about my january bullet journal setup for 2021 um i wanted to be avatar the last airbender theme because i enjoyed it a lot watching it as a kid and since it's been gaining popularity recently i thought why not um, hopefully you guys can get some new ideas on how to do your gratitude logs or your expense trackers and see if it works for you if you can say yes keep watching So in this clip, you can see that there are a bunch of dots that had transferred over from last time. And I used a Sharpie, which was my biggest mistake. And that's why that's there. But to counteract that, I used some construction paper and I took a lot of photos I got from Pinterest to match the you know whole avatar theme. And here you can see, I'm just taking a piece of construction paper and writing January on it to cover up the rest of the dots. And I actually had this nice scrapbooking effect or feel that gave you sort of the old sandy times of Avatar Last Airbender. And that's what I use here. And I really ended up liking the overall look. Now here is the first half of the cover page all complete. So I had all my favorite characters put on the front. Um, except for Azula. I love her actually, even though she was a villain. But that's besides the point. On the other half, um, using these more art pictures, like, you know, fan art versions of Avatar because I thought they were cute and funny, so I'm using these and I'm just putting them on the page and rearranging them in a way that I thought would look nice. And yeah. So this is the final cover page of how it looks. Um, I really liked putting the little black water, earth, fire, air symbols on the side. And on to the next page. So for the next page, I want it to be a playlist for the month. And I want it to be Zuko themed because I just feel like he's the kind of guy, if he was born in today's times, he would listen to a lot of music. So the songs I picked for this month were Holiday by Lil Nas X, Isis by Joanna Lucas, Till I Collapse by Eminem, and Experience by Ludovicio Unagi. And I like, picked a lot of rap music, because one, I like rap music, and two, I feel like this is the type of music that Zuko would listen to. I don't know why, I just get that vibe from him. Um, so here, I just put the pictures on the page, and I want to make the, um, the fire symbol, because I just thought that it would look really nice and have a cool effect since it's called Zuko's Playlist, the page. So yeah. And I also really like this experience song because I just think I like to listen to it to study. But I also feel like something it would be something that Zuko would listen to, like, you know, before like a battle or an Agni Kai. So here's a sort of final look through, and this is the final look of Zuko's playlist. Um, I went in again later on and added some little red marks on next to the flames, but uh, this is basically the final look. And on to the next page.
for this new page, I want to use Azula because I think we all know Azula has a temper and she is really representative of a mood tracker, which is going to be the theme for this page. Azula, I just thought she would be cool next to her brother, um, you know, because it would be like fire and electricity. I just thought it would be cool. I originally was going to use May, but I felt like Azula should be next to her brother. So that's the thing I picked. Um, I really wanted her to look, you know, sort of cool, so I picked a lot of fan art and then really pick a lot of original. And Azula is one of my favorite characters. I just thought she was understood, misunderstood, and everybody just thought of her as evil when I think that she just needed help. She just needed a hug. So this page is dedicated to her. Hope you guys like. And this is the final look. Okay, so on to the next page. This page is dedicated to the Tai Lee, Miss Acrobatic Badass. Um, we love her. She's so cute and bubbly. And I thought that she would be a good representation of what gratitude would look like. She just looks so happy and so carefree, even though like she had a lot of problems in her life. So that's why I picked her for this page. And I wanted to use pink as her color. I don't know why, I just felt like it fit her well. Um, so for this page, I just used construction paper and carved out like a pop out so it would look, you know, like she's popping out of the page. Um, and yeah, I just thought that she was bubbly and I just liked her overall vibe. So I just used those colors and these pictures that I found on Pinterest. So this is the final look of Ty Lee's gratitude log and I thought it was just cute and bubbly. So onto the next page we're going to use Aang, the last airbender here, and I want it to be a line a day and I thought using line a days in your bullet journal would help in describing your overall day in one sentence that can help explain your mood or the things that you were grateful for in that day. So this is the final look. Um, I want to add Aang's glider in there to, you know, add a little cute airy feel to present the air nation and the air nomads. So yeah, hope you guys like. So for this page, I wanted to have, you know, the baddest earthbender to ever walk the earth, Toph Bay Fong, and I want her to represent expense tracker. I just feel like she's just, you know, demanding and keeps everybody on track, and I just feel like she's the kind of person, especially in Legend of Korra, she will become a kind of person that, you know, sort of makes sure that everybody stays on task. So that's why I picked her for this theme.
So this is the final look of Toth for the expense tracker. I really liked it at the end. And here's the next one with our iconic Katara of the Water Tribe. And I just wanted her to be the work locks. I feel like she's the kind of person in the group that works hard for her friends and takes care of them. So I just thought that she would be a good representation of this page. So this is the final look of both pages and overall of how the blood drill looks so far. Um, I really liked how the Katara page and the Toph page ended up. Here is where I realized that I skipped two pages. Um, I'm pretty sure the two pages were stuck together for some reason. but. Here I will start with making Appa's sleep tracker and Sokka's brain dump. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I put them there. I usually put those two at the end of the bullet journal, but you know, since I skipped the two pages, I'm putting them here. When you think of Appa, you think of something soft and fluffy and warm. So I think that he would be a great addition to a sleep tracker. Um, I just think of him as someone who, you know, flies all around for these kids and he needs to sleep too. So I just made the sleep tracker based off of him. This next page is going to be a brain dump dedicated to Sokka because I feel like Sokka, you know, is the comedic relief. Some people, you know, don't pay attention to what he has to say, but most of the time he has very intelligent strategies on how to move forward as a group and I think he's cool. And we sometimes need to just dump our brain and dump our ideas out on a piece of paper and I feel like Sokka is a great representation of that. So this is the final look through for Sokka's brain dump and Appa sleep tracker. I really liked how it turned out. It has a nice cool feel to it and hope you guys also enjoy. And this is the final flip through for January for this 2021 bullet journal with the avatar theme. I hope you guys enjoyed and liked this. Um, please subscribe and like the video and share if you guys think you want to do a similar theme to this or if you have another theme that you think I should do for next month, don't feel free to comment down below and say it. Um, I love all your suggestions and I really hope we can continue this off.